Hey guys, it's Dr. Swiner. Um, sad now that as I plan to get online, the news of the passing of Kobe Bryant has hit. And, uh, you know, my timeline and my phone is blowing up and I am um, really, 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 really somber now. So I'm sorry, I don't have a smile on for you guys. Um, clearly tomorrow is not promised. I hope that you got to spend some time and are spending time with some of your loved ones today, telling them that you love them. I love you. If no one has told you today, I hope that you're doing okay. And I'm really, really, really sorry for the family and loved ones of the legend that my generation grew up with. You know, he, he and I are the same age. So when he hit the scene, when he got to the NBA straight out of high school, you know, I was watching on TV, like this guy is my age and he's doing these phenomenal things. And so very, very saddened to hear of his passing. So, you know, originally I'd be chipper and bubbly and smiling and dancing and all that stuff. But I just got hit with that news as I was, I was actually doing the, um, the initial work session for my new um, Swiner Publishing Mastermind publishing group. So in the middle of that, I was like, looking at my phone, like what in the world? And the news was hitting, so. That makes me very sad, but I hope that you all are doing well and that you've enjoyed your Sunday, that your new year has gone well so far. Um, just looking at my phone again, so I'm just like in awe. But what I jumped on here today to do is to shout out you, as usual, to thank you guys for always being uh, supportive and participating in the Superwoman Survival Group for supporting and loving and sharing the kit. If you are an official member and you're getting your kit quarterly for loving the items and sharing those. And for those of you all who have invested and gotten your No Superwoman Planner to shout you out and to show you a little bit about what it has, uh, what, is in, you know, what is in store for you with the planner and how I plan to use my planner over the next year. So just wanted to jump on because I, I realized I hadn't really done a walkthrough yet um, officially since the planner has been out. Um, and it came out this month, last two weeks. Sorry for the glare. And this is what it looks like. This is how big it is. It's bigger than my head. And this literally is my brain on paper. Literally. I mean, this takes in 323 pages, it takes the things that I think about the most, I, you know, wake that wake me out of my sleep, that I every week try to get in order so that we can have a smooth and successful and productive week, um, or a calming, laid back week, depending on what me and my family need. Um, and this planner also includes space for not just you and what you want to do personally, mentally, physically, entrepreneurially, if that's a word but also includes space for your loved ones. So if you have kids, if you have those that you are a caregiver for, your spouse, your partner, your girlfriend, boyfriend, et cetera, there is space in here also for them. So literally my brain here handed to you to help you compartmentalize what you wanna do with your week, your month, your year, et cetera. So just gonna do a quick walkthrough um, and show you what it looks like. If you don't already have your planner, then feel free to order yours. It's not too late, it's still just January and this goes through the entire year. But I'll leave my link here for my online store so you can get your planner along with some fun stickers that'll go on the inside. So if you were the first to pre-order yours, you got some of my favorite stickers from Oh So Paper, which is, this, is an adorable uh, a black owned sticker company that has all kinds of stickers and sticky notes and all that stuff that you put in your planner and leave yourself notes, you know, et cetera. So that was the first one run. The second run will be um, stickers from another company that I love called Red Bubble, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But they have um, a lot of adorable stickers that you can add into your planner and, you know, add some life and color to what you want to do. So this is how I'm using my planner. Haven't written in this one yet. All right. First page has a little welcome and intro letter for me. It also notes that with every planner, you also have the ability to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me for free about whatever you want. We can talk about self-care, we can talk about publishing, we can talk about becoming a speaker, opening your business, you know, relationship stuff. We can talk about whatever you want, but every time you buy a planner, you get a free 15 minutes with me to schedule and talk about whatever you want to talk about. All right, so that's the first page. Second thing goes into 
who this belongs to. So you put your name here, and then this has a calendar for the first couple of months of the year. So you can go ahead, if you have quick things you want to make note of, highlight some numbers, some dates, you can put those here. But the real stuff comes on the next section, which has to do with your 2020 goals, all right? Um, I don't really do vision boards, but I like to kind of write down the things that I want to focus on and I actually create a word, a theme for the year to help me to stay focused. So it's not so overwhelming that you have, you know, five things that you have to get done. And if you don't get these things done successfully in 2020, you have failed and you've had a horrible year. No, I try to, <laughs> I try to, um, I try to focus on one big theme. My theme, for instance, for 2020 is expansion. So this, however, this, by the way, is part of that. And that, you know, the Superwoman stuff I've talked about and the New Year, New You events that I do and the Superwoman group stuff that we do, creating a planner that puts it all into one place so that I can share this and sell this in other places and broaden my audience is part of that. So that's one of my goals. That's goal one. But what this will do is... This will help you be very specific about the things you want to get done by saying, okay, this is my goal for the year. So let's say my goal is to lose weight. Okay. Quarter one, first quarter can be dedicated to meal planning. So I'm going to meal plan and I'm going to cook and go to the grocery store and do what I need to do more consistently. And by March one, I want to make sure that I've checked that off my list. Quarter two, a milestone is going to be, okay, so I've gotten into the habit of meal planning and cooking more at home. Now I'm going to add in some exercise. So I'm going to make sure that I exercise at least twice a week. By March 1st, I'm going to make sure I've done that. Or by June, if this is quarter two, by what? August or September, I want to make sure I've, I've been consistent with that. Quarter three, now that I'm meal planning, I, I established that in quarter one. I'm exercising at least twice a week, quarter two. Quarter three... I want to <clears throat> not only meal plan, but now I want to start calorie counting. Because as you may or may not know, a reduction of 500 calories per week equals one pound loss per week. Okay, and that's a good healthy goal, by the way. Threw in some Dr. Swiner family medicine there for you. And quarter four is buy two new pairs of pants because I can't fit the other ones I have on. You know, so this actually gives you a more broad but hopefully reasonable guideline timeline to follow so that you can get some stuff done in 2020. Okay. Every chapter, every chapter, every month comes with a quotable from me. Things that I talk about and keep yourself motivated. If you're like me, you also have other people at home that are counting on you. So while you're trying to meal plan, <coughs> get all those things together for the week. Every week, you can sit down. Let me just confirm. Is this in every week? Let me look. Actually, I think the weekly to-dos are more specific. But for the month, so this is every month, you have a new home grind page. Every month, you want to identify... The big, oh, no, sorry, home grind. You want to identify what meals you want to try. So, again, you know, for those that have started either keto or have started intermittent fasting or have started the goal of wanting just to cook more from home, these are where you can put down some of your meal ideas, okay? If you're like me, I got two kids to take care of <laughs> or your kids, if you scratch out the name kids, your kids might be the ones that you are a caretaker for. So your little brother, your mom, your grandmother, but their activities. My girls have dance nearly every day of the week. I gotta remember who's gonna pick them up and take them places. Gotta put it here. This month, uh, we're all due for our dental exams. Put that here. I'll be due for my physical exam sometime in April or on my birthday. I'm gonna put that on here. So these are big month home grind details that you wanna focus on. Next starts your month goals, specifically for yourself, okay? So you have your month's goals which is mostly probably business and work related. You have your self-care goals, which is specifically for you and how you're gonna take better care of yourself. So the month of January, I wanna make sure I get a massage at least once a month. Massage, self-care goals. And then adult project. This can be date night. This can be girls night. This can be an, a class you wanna take. What is your adult project to focus on this month? Mine for this month is gonna be I already get a massage pretty regularly. Mm, 
maybe date night. Maybe I'll, I'll come up with a special date night idea. <coughs> Actually, we're going to New York. So I can write down what I want to do uh, in New York with hubby as our adult project, our date night for the month. Okay. All right. Brain dump. Shout out, by the way, to Bria Davenport. If you don't know who Bria is, Bria is the owner of Coco and Shay and the Girlfriends Pod. She was the one that actually is the inspiration for getting this done. Actually, shout her out right here. She is the inspiration for creating or sitting down and actually doing what I've wanted to do with this planner for the last year. I've been following her. Please follow her and look at all her planners. She has like five, six, seven more planners that she's helped um, create. And she helped me to design this. But she came up with a wonderful idea of a brain dump. Okay. Literally getting all that stuff out of your head that like wake you up at 3 a.m. And you're like, oh, I forgot to do this. And I got to do this tomorrow. I want to make sure this week. This is the stuff that you put down every month. Every month has a page. Just throw it on there. Like, it doesn't even really have to fit in a specific category, really. Just throw everything on here. I just, you know, I don't want to forget the Greater Durham um, Black Chambers Gala. I don't want to forget to buy my um, tickets for my favorite music festivals. Um, and the one on my mind, actually, was J. Cole's. What's it called? What's it called? Dreamville. I want to make sure I buy Dreamville tickets because that's in April. I want to make sure that uh, we pay that bill that we're supposed to be paying so we can go on that cruise. <laughs> So this is where you put everything in one place. So when it comes time to write things out on specific dates, you can take what's on your brain dump and just plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Okay. So this brain dump page have, helps you put everything down in one place so that you can organize it and make it look pretty and cute and organized here. Okay. There was a blank page for notes just for random thoughts. Don't forget this. Don't forget that. There are weekly to do's or daily to do's gives you space for every week. This is what I want to do. So you have every month, my big goals and every week. Can't forget the dental exam. Can't forget. I got to finish this certification by this date, etc. Don't forget your gratitude. Don't forget your gratitude. I'm all about positive self-talk and affirmation. Put it all in one place. For Monday, if you hate Mondays, you know, as, as the sun sets on Sunday, we start dreading work on Monday. Write down, go ahead and write down your positive stuff for Monday, right now. <laughs> My gratitude, I'm gonna come up with one now. My gratitude is that, you know, I love the sunshine and I hate the shorter days of the winter season. I am already grateful that you can tell that the days are getting longer because instead of going to work when it's dark and leaving and coming home when it's dark, the sun is actually out when I get in the car in the morning and the sun's still out when I get in the car and I go get the kids now versus before Christmas. That wasn't the case. That makes me happier. Feels like the day is brighter. The day is longer. That makes me happier. So that's my gratitude for Monday. Okay. Every week come up with a go, a, a go to a, a, an affirmation, a positive self-talk um, meme or quote you got you saw on instagram that you love jot it down so you can come back here and remind yourself okay here's the breakdown of the days you have more space here than you do on the previous calendar to really write down um things that you're working on and you can pick and choose like you don't have to use every single page of this you can choose you know if you like the bigger space calendar here and you want to focus on that versus these smaller squares then do so Skip this and use the bigger squares here instead, okay? Remind yourself. Remind yourself what you're doing and accomplishing. Remind yourself how you're feeling. So this month, you know, this is a woman's group. This month I had that. I'm not saying this about myself, but you might say <laughs> this month I am frustrated because I had two menstrual cycles. Like, where'd that come from? I need to talk to my doctor, right? Or this month, I felt a little bit more sad than I normally do, right? So you can check in with yourself and remind yourself, this is how I'm feeling. Or you'll say, you know what? I wonder why, why did I feel so somber in January? Let me go back and see what I was working on. Oh, I had that big project at work. Or, oh, it's the anniversary of my grandmother's passing. And, oh, that's why. You, need to, you know, it creates more of an intuitiveness and intuition about your emotion. What was going on here? That made you feel that way 
okay? And then it essentially repeats. So you have a lot of weekly to-do notes. You have a lot of these big block daily calendar note pages. And it goes on for the rest of the month. Do it weekly until you get to your monthly goal wrap up, okay? And this is where you go back and say, so let me reflect. Let me go back to those positive words that I put at the beginning of my month. Did I stick with that? Did I practice good self-talk? Did I, you know, what did I do well? Did I get accomplished what I wanted to get accomplished? What worked well and what didn't work well? What's my goal for the next month? And then here comes February. Okay? So that's how I plan on using this. I plan on using this and having you use this not only as me on paper, <laughs> having me hold your hand and walk you through this year on paper, but also as a way to reflect on how I'm feeling, the emotion behind um, what's going on in my life. Quarterly, monthly, whatever, go back to what your original feelings, what your original original thoughts were and say, well, why did I feel, why, why might I have, why might I have, what, why might I have skipped a period this month? Oh, I had extra stress or, oh, I wasn't sleeping. I didn't sleep very well this month. Or uh, I turned 45 and it's time for menopause, you know, so it, it will help you be more intuitive about what's going on with your body once you know what, what all is going on in your life. That's how I'm going to use the planner. All right, you guys, time for the next step. I'm going to go take the kids outside, enjoy some sunshine, take a break, and then uh, get ready for the week. I hope you guys are doing well, and I love you very much. Bye-bye.